Hey guys, this is System Test 13, and even though there's not going to be as big of a change as there was with the new panel for System Test 12, there are a few little changes and surprises for this system test, uh, which are mostly revolve around the changes to the AC wiring down here. Uh, I added this little Square D QO2 breaker box and a DMP322 transformer. So now all the panels are tied together on the one power feed and the DMP panel no longer has the little plug-in transformer to power it. So you can see the left breaker is for this board. The rightmost breaker is for the Halon system on this board and you can see that's turned off because I'm not going to be using the Halon system today. So. For the devices, we have a Honeywell S464A pull station and an Edwards 270 SPO. Now, there's kind of a problem with the 270 SPO, and that's that I'm kind of stupid and didn't realize when I installed this that there's no way to get a screwdriver in there with the panel being there. So, I have to use a ratchet and a little you know, a bit and attachment, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm probably not going to be using that one today. We have System Sensor MA1224L and a notifier NWS24 strobe. And I want to give a shout out to Retired STRSG on the Fire Panel forums for helping me troubleshoot this device and get it connected to my panel because they were kind of having a disagreement. Uh... Everything else, the panels are all still the same. Uh, I'll be real, real honest, I don't remember what the coating is set on, so that'll be a surprise. I know it's 800 hertz continuous, but I don't know what the coating on the panel is. So, uh, here we go. There's actually an easier way to do that in DMP keypads. You could just hold down the 2 button and then you're prompted with the code for sensor reset instead of going through the menu. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching.